Going weak then, okay. I was thinking Steve might come out because Steve does kind of do is very good against brawler type characters, but we are gonna see Weefit. Weefit's very good at disrupting in doubles with, with header and sunball. Header, in my opinion, one of the best moves in the game for doubles. And looks like uh jeez. Because it looks like just blues the one going in for them, so it's gonna be Brujo trying to stalk him. That's the other thing too, K. Roll Crown is also very good at disrupting. So they both have good opportunities to help their uh, teammates out. They can stalk really early with Sun Salutation. Being able to nair out of me brawler combos is pretty important to be honest. Yeah, most characters wish they had that. Yeah, because anytime you get hit by up air, you're just at a threat of dying at like 60. Sometimes it's definitely true, but when it's not, he's Naren. <laughs> wow, what a neutral be. That looks so goofy and he lived. What just happened? <laughs> Why'd he live at 140? <laughs> that up smash. <laughs> up smash the forward air extension, so it just looked ridiculous, but he did stick his nose where it didn't belong. <laughs> so nice start here from Blue Team. Five stocks to three already. And Just Blue, I was going to say, doing a great job of keeping half of the viewer off stage, and then he just upbeat out of nowhere, but... It just feels like the thing with the weak bit is she's like really amazing as a support character, but you really have to think about who your partner is. Like she, has, she usually does well with most characters as partners, but with Brujo, even if even if he is good, Kaveru is still a high maintenance character. Like someone that you have to like make sure isn't getting hit all the time. Yeah, he does have things doubles like it's weird. Out of all the heavies, other than I mean, out of the bad heavies, <laughs> let me put it that way. He's, he's not bad in doubles, but. And he definitely has a lot of strength, but yeah, he does have some weaknesses, especially against a team that just can combo him like crazy like this team. But they, they've teamed enough, so they know when, when he needs help. You know, it, it's, it's an experience thing. I, I say that as he cannonballs at the <laughs> top of the screen. It almost kills him. But. Yeah. See, that, that's all Crafts and Pelka need to do the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Would have been a different set. Blue team. Let's get fired up. So a three stock there from Blue Team. People people going absolutely crazy right now for something going on. I, again, I have no idea, so I can't give you an update. But yeah, It's like a giant crowd forming around this And they're going setup, crazy. Watching singles. Uh, some people are laughing, so I don't know if it's like a meme set or if it's like actually somebody's like making a big upset right now. Okay. <laughs> Right back into it. Game two, is it still PS2? That seems to be the the only pick. Three, nope, it is Hello Bastion. Giving him rage, that's all he wanted. <laughs> Get him oh, a little yeah. closer. Uh, he landed with the Donner, so it's that horizontally. It's a little unfortunate there for Bloon. Yeah, and I see just who, like, what if you're deep at these like really weird spots where you're like definitely gonna get hit or die? Again, it's not his main. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. his weep is good, but he, there's definitely things that you can tell that it's, it's not his number one. That's probably one of those things where he thinks, yeah, I usually get away with this, but when you're dealing with characters that have a lot of mobility, like the green team has, you jump right into it. What did I say? You cannot break that. It's it just, you have to hold it. There's not much lag to it, too, either, so it's not even like a hard punish. You just kind of have to let him do it. Yeah. Just hope you don't get hit by it. Okay, good coverage from just here to get through file, but Two Duplex, good follow-up. Can you see the tech chase? Uh, well, an F-kill. That is a tech chase. <laughs> Wasn't a very strong one, but he still got it. Wow, what a back air. Yep. Right there, Apple, we are going to go for the Thrupper and continue to take these stocks relatively early. Yeah, I was going to say, Ruho is supposed to be the stock tank. He's already down to his first stock. That's, that's tough. And nice combo here from Apple Reviewer. Not getting the second pair there, but... Taking a bunch of damage still, but it's still even-ish if they can take the stock off of Apple Reviewer, but percent lead is definitely Green Team's favor. Yeah. 
And also, you're just hoping Carol lives forever. What an up throw with the, with the blunderbuss right there. Just gotta clear the deck when that's coming. And now we're at an advantage again. Yeah, slight advantage, Blue Team. They, again, if they could take the stock here off of Carol, which is, in theory, it shouldn't be that hard, but sometimes he just lives. <laughs> Good after throw. Yeah, just good dub his awareness to know what his character can do. Just hold that shield. Good interruption there by Kloon to try to get him to poke his shield. Smart play, but it unfortunately dragged him off stage. Having a share stock there, so very even game. Not anymore. <laughs> it is now green team favor. Yeah, I think Justin wanted to go off stage and go for a narrower back here to keep Kloon off stage, but Kloon just going for that forwarder, and as soon as you let go of the ledge, he just died. And they're playing uh, the, the 2v1 the same way they were doing earlier, just having Kloon sit back and just get, give a lot of stage control there for App Reviewer. And I get why, because obviously Carol's going to do something on save he can punish. Yeah. And I feel like I feel like Carol's not going to be that good in this 2v1. No. At least not with two speedy characters like this right now. And, and common like crazy. <laughs> See, no punish. It's just weird to me, though. Like, I get what they're doing, but seeing the no punish by Kloon on, on App Reviewer getting punished is just weird. I get why, though. Just keep it safe. Oh, those in the crown. He's gonna start doing this. He's playing like Wolf. <laughs> ah, good down be there by Clone. Squ squeezing out the stock. 1-1. One, one. Very, very good set here. Both teams. Going into game three. Um, if I had to guess, I would say PS2. If I had to guess. I would say, I mean, I feel like, oh, I was gonna say, I feel like they would've banned it, but I guess not. People don't know. <laughs> People don't know until they die to me, Brawler 40. At 40. <laughs> and, and Yoshi, that too. If, if you die to Yoshi at 40, you'll start banning him. But they're not. They're going back. Definitely not going to be Min Min Violet. This is not real. Yeah, we know. It's, gonna be, it's, gonna, it's definitely going to be we, we Fit K Roll. So here we go. Going 1-1. One, one, Game number three. Two, and Apple Reviewer showing that they can definitely adjust things and work things out to their favor. Yeah, like you were saying earlier with those deep breathing. You have, at that point, you just have to air dodge. You have to hold it. Yeah, see, I wouldn't go above me crawler yeah. or Yoshi like that. I will yeah. say. Off stage, whatever. Going, going at them. <laughs> yeah. Going above them, is just, it doesn't seem like it's the play. All right. Like I say, just blue. Letting, letting, uh, letting Bruo just get up here earlier. And of course, now we can't help him. That's the stock. Again, PS2. Yeah. <laughs> Most of Bruo's stock was spent just dealing with that. Yeah, just getting up here. Like, what's he going to do? He's playing Carol. <laughs> it's like, when it's true, it's true. You know, if it's untrue, he can get out of it. But if it's true, he's kind of screwed. Wow, what a stock there with the Blunderbuzz again. It's like Brawl. You got to worry about your, your teammates' hip locks. Oh, going for that early header, not getting it. One thing that's definitely like you're noting that just you know has a weak hit but doesn't really play is like you don't have to be next to your partner as we can to cover them whenever they're getting hit. Yeah. If you just angle a ball in their direction, again, it doesn't have to hit the, the opponent. It can hit your partner. It doesn't matter. Just get out of that. Yeah, situation. exactly. Combo break. Yeah. Just a, a great disruption tool. Yeah. And again, K rolls disruption tools are fine too. Not, all right, gotta start the up air chain. Not yeah. quite. That's the other thing too. It, it takes it takes Carol a while to get back. It takes actually takes both the blue team a while to get back when they're off stage. Not having the quickest recoveries. Good parry there. Not getting. Uh, I don't know if I agree with the dash tag. It's, yeah. it's laggy and it definitely wouldn't be killed. I think he might have had time to do a dash up F smash or at least an, an F tilt. I don't know. Good blue team, blue stock time. lead. Pretty even if, unless Just Blue can make the stock last forever. Opting, opting for the two 1v1s. Interesting opting here by Clone. Definitely just trying to go for the stock off Just Blue. And if it works out, it'll look like a genius. If it doesn't work out, that's unlucky. Yeah, that's, that's killed at 110. Okay, but we did not a bad 2v1 character. Just have to know how to, like, take advantage of the fact that most of your opponents are going to not know how to deal with the hitboxes every once in a while. Yeah, but the, the combo game from these two is very, very scary. Yeah, 
again, they, they play a much slower 2v1, which isn't a bad thing. It's very safe. It's very annoying for the opponent to deal with. Yeah. Because you're thinking, like, oh, let me hit let me hit Apple Reviewer, and then it's up. Oh, Poon's there. <laughs> let me try to get mid stage. Nope. <laughs> got a Yoshi waiting in shield. And I just don't know that I agree with, like, the aerial moves that Justice win for the most part. He keeps going for the ball, bouncing it off of Poon's shield, and having it bounce back into Apple Reviewer because they will still keep it tip box but then just jumps in and goes for a downer. You know, a downer is nice and everything, but I think anything that sends it sideways is what you actually are looking for here. Oh, oh, Dealing that stock. Very tough situation here from, from Just Blue. Moon definitely has the, the advantage, especially because at this percent, like everything out of shield is going to kill. And then once back air starts killing, that's when it's really scary, because that's like one of the safest, just easiest to throw it out moves in the game. As we're seeing, <laughs> as he's demonstrating so kindly. Oh. Yeah, it's not it. A little too hard on the spike. Getting the uh, up smash, F smash, the uh, the elite smash classic. Yeah, and Kloon does that a lot with the Yoshi F smash because of the whole like Yoshi like drags his head back. And oh yeah, the hurtbox shifting on that move is insane. It's so crazy. it's definitely like, I get why. <laughs> in theory, it shouldn't work, but in in practice, it works all the time. Two one advantage here. Continuing to go, yes two. Yeah, you think they learned? You think when K Roll died at 110 after a grab, you think you'd say, you know what, maybe the stage is the problem. Ruho spent literally 40 seconds just getting up until that up B killed, and Just Blue was on the side of the stage. Yeah. So maybe he didn't notice. Yeah. Ruho needs to scream louder. <laughs> Help! <laughs> getting a suplex combo. Hell yeah. 44. 55. He is a heavy. But as we've seen, as we've seen in this set, he's just getting absolutely bodied right now. That's yeah. very unfortunate. It does not matter if you're a heavy, if you're going to start most of your stocks at like 100. See, and sometimes that's fine. But as we've seen, he is dying in this, in this set. No follow-up again off the Carol back over there. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's unfortunate that he's missed it twice, because that, that is a difference maker when it's a close game. Shoot him again. Good air dodge. F throw dash act with that rage, definitely not true. Great tomahawk, it was again, just hold it. So he punished he punished a flashing mock punch, and then Kloon punished just blue for punishing mad. That's how meta develops. <laughs> option A beats option B. <laughs> and then you cycle through everything. And then option C beats option B. <laughs> In this edge guard, he's gonna get it. Is he out of his down B? Yes, he is. Great stock there from Brujo. That's another thing I will say is that his edge guarding against Yoshi's probably in, maybe not the best. His edge guarding against um, me, Brawler Up, he's definitely easy. He's just there. <laughs> it just beats it. And here, we're still seeing a relatively evenish game, even though Blue Team does have more stocks, but Napa Reviewer has shown no issue at all getting rid of these stocks. Yeah, because both both Yoshi and Brawler have a very easy time killing off the top. You're seeing here. <laughs> Again, thank you for demonstrating. <laughs> now we're even. Oh, oh, I was wow. waiting for the short up back here afterwards. It would have been funny. Kiro up here is such a funny move because it's a move that everybody calls bad, but then you get hit by it and it's like, wow, <laughs> I just died at 60. <laughs> I feel like if you're from New England, you do not think that was bad. Yeah, we've been doing K We've had a Kiro at least since the beginning of old the 8 away and now a Brujo. Is that it? What a combo. Almost. Barely not killing. I'm actually surprised Bloom didn't try to go for a follow up. Great up smash there by Clone. Yeah. Yoshi just not a character you can punish a weak at that easily. No combo breaking here for Brujo. He's dead. Alright, he's living. Good double jump there. 170. Smashing those nares. Not getting the follow up there. That would have been and that's what I'm saying. What a meme move. <laughs> it's so it's so weirdly good. <laughs> All right, here we have Apple Reviewer. They got a nice 2v1. The header, unfortunately, hitting his teammate there. Letting, like, Just Blue 
play point. Killing his teammate somehow. I, I don't even know how that hit. Was he turning around? I was. I don't know. I think it just hit him with the inner hitbox. That's really unfortunate. This could end up being the difference. But that back air to shield when it with deep breathing is insane. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> and it's gonna be a three-one. We see an amazing performance from Win and Apple reviewers showing, you know, on paper.